Uh, other than that, that's generally how it is. We work pretty closely with the city of Richmond and their firefighters to do. They are predominantly responsible for most of the structures you see on the ground side, the public portion, parking, parking garage, most of the terminal itself. Um, that's sort of their a lot of mutual aid involved there. Yeah. Uh, so how big is the fire hall itself? It's a four bay. We'll see it. You'll get to see it. It's a four bay hall. It's we've definitely outgrown it, and I'll yeah. talk about that later. And uh, we'll get to see what we will soon be living in. All the big infrastructure is all here. We call this the main apron. Uh, officially, it's called Apron Six because we actually have seven aprons that belong to YVR. There's other aprons that are private, belong to people such as UPS or US Terminal the Shell right Air Center, which are the panel of private jets. Uh, but this is where the bulk of all your major airlines are in and out of. To the left is the transborder side of the building, and beside us, these yellow markings here, is the north runway. 08, uh, sorry, 08 left, 26 right. And there it's called because of magnetic heading. Runways are always orientated based on the magnetic compass and generally orientated based on the prevailing wind. So today, weather pattern like this, generally speaking, we're landing over the water. We call it here landing on the 8th, which is the 08, 08 end, because the prevailing wind is coming from the east. They always want to land in the wind. I'm not sure if there's anybody. I don't know if there's anybody. The operator can now zoom in. They're not going to verify whether there's something there. We actually have uh, the three managers staff. We'll go out here and pick up. This will be a set of eyes to verify what's there. In some cases, this is going to be a different structure. Not really my area of expertise, I have to admit, but sort of. <laughs> Take it till you make it. So, somebody said, guess correctly, new fire hall, or AOB, Airside Operations Building, as we call it, because really it's a combined services building. It's not just a fire hall. See these red circles with the manholes in them? That's a hydrant pit. And in there is basically. Um, a set of plumbing that a fuel truck can plug into and basically the fuel truck is no longer a tanker it's really just a pump on wheels and it just plugs into the ground and pumps fuel straight from the ground into the wing. They, you look at the end bay there, bay four, you see the nose of one truck poking out. So we're right now onto the domestic side here, uh, domestic horseshoe commuter gate facility here and so you can see building over there with the crane. The crane, we're going to, I'll talk about that in a second. It's a new part of our terminal that will again be common use, but the practical, uh, or the primary tenant, I'll say, is will be WestJet. I'm going to pull over to the right here, where, near where this uh, Jazz-8 is parked. So you can see, here's, here's an example of an aircraft that's kind of parked remotely, waiting for a gate. Uh, it doesn't make sense to tie up a gate for eight hours with an airplane doing nothing. So we tend to try and keep the gate space available for aircraft that are coming in and going fairly quickly. Using two gates can be really huge. Um, as the project evolves, you'll see there'll be additional gates added. You can probably make out where 
you can kind of see where the, the openings in the building are. You get an idea how many gates there will be. And that construction will kind of go on to the right. Uh, on the left other side, the right. If you have three, one would be it would be left, center, and right. If you have more than that, some, air, some airports have more than that. So they actually change, falsely change the orientation by one degree so that you have like a two six left and like a two seven left. You know what I mean? So all of the differentiate each runway from another. Generally speaking, we use the north runway for arrivals only and try and use the south runway for departures. 